New wave music, absolutely huge in the Philippines. Um, for me, I didn't experience new wave music as a child um, because I lived in other, I was in Hong Kong, I was in uh, Germany and my parents went into music. My, I think my father had his life sucked out of him when he got married. Um, but and I'll explain why. Um, but my father would listen to like rock and roll tracks and John Denver, that sort of stuff, a mix of all sorts. Um, but before he got married, he went to see uh, Jimi Hendrix live. He's seen The Who live. He's seen a lot of <laughs> a lot of big bands because as a soldier, he was in uh, different locations and as a single man, got to experience these amazing bands that he's never talked about. But he's got a fantastic vinyl collection that I've never actually seen him play. I've played it. I've, I've sat there listening to The Who and um, uh, Jimi Hendrix and all this stuff on the original vinyl that my father has. That because he, he's he's got some of this stuff is from the concerts, um, so it is fairly collectible. But the the point being is, my father never really played that around the house. You know, he was like blue suede shoes and all that sort of stuff, which I'm not really into. But New Wave, I never experienced. Um, as a child, never experienced. Um, so when I went to the Philippines and my wife's into New Wave, I sort of like, thought, well, what's New Wave? I had to do a discovery of it on myself. But then you see that the video machines use it, the karaoke machines use it. You talk to people, everybody's got a connection with New Wave. They also got, a lot of people are into the Beatles and things like that. So there's a lot of stuff around you that is influenced from outside. And the reason I'm bringing this up is it can give you a good connection where you can relate to people if you've got nothing else in common or you're trying to open up a conversation with somebody new because people love the music. Um, now, I don't know why it's so big, but it just is. But when I talk to people about it, they say they love the lyrics. And if you can, I can understand that from my perspective as well. Because when you hear Beyonce singing all the single ladies, repeat, 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 all the single ladies, repeat, 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 you're just like, what a load of crap. But New Wave, there's a lot more lyrics and a lot more thoughts gone into a lot of it. They're yeah, all great, but there is a lot more gone into the actual poetic, poetic justice. There's a lot of um, work gone into it, which is one of the things I like about it. Um, but like I said, it opens up conversations and I would say, try and have a conversation about it with Filipinos and they'll have a connection with it and why they like it. Um, but I've yet to hear something say, oh, no, I don't like it. They all have something about certain songs that have a specific meaning for them. Um, whether it's when they were college students, when they were remember spending time with their parents or whatever, there's a connection there. But also when you go to the Philippines, if you go to the record stores, you will see why New Wave is so important. A lot of the problems in the Philippines is to do with monopolies and controlling stuff. Um, the record industry is no, um, uh, it hasn't avoided it, let's just put it that way. Um, so it's not, it's not as good as it should be. Uh, I would also say though, there's a lot of fantastic music and bands in the Philippines. If you go to places like The Outpost in Cebu, um, there's, they have unplugged nights, they have regular music nights, and it's, you can book a live band for an event for, for about 6,000 pesos, which are really, really good. This is, this is the thing, that's what I love about the Philippines. You go, you know, let's have a, let's have a good night, let's get a band in and just, just do it. You know, 6,000 pesos doesn't break the band, uh, bank, but the band will be very, very good. And that's what I love about the Philippines. There's that sort of stuff. And I really love the um, the ability that a lot of people can sing. I think people are born to sing in the Philippines. It's a bit like whales. If you can't sing, you know, when someone says, oh, um, it's like a comical thing where people go, oh, uh, we need somebody to sing this week. Oh, well, Barry's from Wales. 
well, what, what's happening? And, it's, and Barry will be like, no, I can't sing. And then he starts singing and it's like he's been with a choir for the last 30 years. Um, it's that sort of thing. Everybody sings. But New Wave's a good way to open up a conversation piece. <laughs> Thanks for watching.